I see six fam. I see six fam. So, What's happening? I'm getting ready, and Shane and I are having a little conversation. And it's uh, just it's, it's summer, 2019. Um, make sure that I just want to give some tips. Subscribe, subscribe to our channel. No, give us. A, they need to tell their friends. Shout us out on Instagram or Facebook. Tell other people to come watch us. Yeah. Help us get yeah. to 5,000 subscribers. Yes. That's yes. our next goal. 5,000 yes. subscribers. Yeah. We so need we to need, get we need your help, quick. C6 fam. We need your help. And we're help. about to tell y'all a really like crazy. We took, we videoed, we were just like talking about it because we've been having an issue the other day. So we're kind of prefacing the other day's video with today's video because more has happened. Mm. More has happened with this story. But I want to say this first. Okay. So. You want to say this first. I've never had like an issue with a person that I don't talk to. <laughs> like, I'm not saying I've never had issues with people, but a person that you don't really know, you've just seen them outside. Or in the car. Or in the car, or in the golf cart driving up and down while we swim. Watching very, us. Very odd. Or hiding in the bushes. It's odd. In all black. Oh, we, that's another while story. Wait, that's a whole We're other, packing. That's a whole another story. So, but never had like, I've never talked to her. I, I mean, I did when we first moved in, you know, just, hi, yeah, welcome, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. I've probably had more words. It, she, she's a little more confrontational than me. So, I want to say this. So, I understand I live in the country. I understand. Like, when I first met Shay, and I would stay at his ranch house, I thought the coyotes were in the yard. And, I mean, back then, I called them coyotes. I didn't know they were supposed to be called coyotes. He's corrected. Yeah, have you noticed that you change how I say things? He said, they're not coyotes, Kimberly. Well, they're coyotes. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can say coyote if you uh, want to. They would, I, I would be, I would wake him up in the middle of the night and say, there are coyotes outside our window. And he's like, oh yard. no, go back to sleep, you're fine. So, hang on. Okay, so that being said, I totally get, we live in the country. I understand when Shay used to take the babies off the mamas and he would put them in our lot. They're bawling all night long. Like, I understand all that. And I can even deal with that. Like, I could listen to the ball and babies because it's that consistent. That only happened for like two days. Not but it is all, it is consistent. Every time you take them off, yes, that I'm happens. Yeah. yeah. It's like a two day thing. Mm -hmm. so. Not a six month thing. <laughs> so, our, this person that lives on a property next to ours, and keep in mind, we live on property. They live on property. We're not really neighbors. I mean, everyone else is going to think like a house sitting right next to your house. These people live along far from us. I mean, we're both on a lot of acres. But they are our neighbors. They're the person right next I mean, to our us. Our properties connect. Yeah, That's so it. your neighbor. Yeah, we share a fence. Bottom line. I could tell you a story about that too. But. I started hearing a rooster wake me up years ago, which you're about to see the video about. I told Shay a week ago, she has put a new rooster on the fence line. She said, I heard it too. I said, baby, it was waking me up. You're about to see the whole story that we recorded. So uh, enjoy the video. Uh -huh. And then we're going to... Yep. And she, you, I, I do want to say this. You didn't think it was out there on the fence line. To this time? Yeah, you said, baby, I don't think it's on the fence line. I just think it's a real loud one. Mm -hmm. well, you better watch this video. Well, enjoy. <laughs> the drama from a person we do not know <laughs> that lives on a property near us. <laughs> I see six fam. First of all, I've never been this white in the summer. 
in my life. <sighs> we need some sunshine in our pool. We need our garden mate, Daddy. Yes, I know. So, I'll get on that. There is this, like, on top of that rose. Most annoying rooster. You hear it? In the background. So, since we've been home for We have Europe, a really good story about oh my Lord. a rooster. Really, first of all, we really have good a story. neighbor who's different. It's, it's different. They're great neighbors. <laughs> So, a few years the ago, I was actually pregnant with Memphis, yeah. so that's how, seven years ago. They got this rooster, and they put it on a fence front. Their fence front's right over there. So, we live on all this property, but we have neighbors over there. I mean, they're far, but the fence line's just right there. So, I'm pregnant at the time, seven years ago, and she puts this rooster on the fence side, on the fence side. So for months, this rooster, they don't go off at daybreak. They go off at three in the morning, three in the morning, every mm, five, six minutes. They really do say cock a doodle -doo. I don't know if you know about roosters. They do say that, that's not just a thing kids say. So, I mean, it was like making me crazy because it's waking me up all night. Well, then we went on a trip to Greece, remember? So we go to Greece, and my best friend was staying here, sleeping in our bed, taking care of our house. This is, and granted, this we had been listening for about six months. Yeah, yeah. To the I've rooster. been listening to this rooster, just like I live in the country. I need to just learn to sleep with this rooster, even though it's like waking us up all night. I think there's a spider web on me. Anyway, um, well, because we said, well, surely, I mean, we maybe like, it's just us. And we thought the rooster. We didn't know the rooster was on the fence line. We just couldn't we hear it. hear it. We thought, yes. surely it's close, yes. you know, closer to their house than our house. Right. So, my friend who was staying here sends me texts while I'm in Greece. And is like, how do you live in this house? This blankety blank 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 rooster has kept me up all that long while I'm trying to take care of your house. So I told Shay, I'm not crazy. Like, this rooster really is loud. The rooster is closer to our house than the people who own it's house. So we get home and Shay's like, I'm just gonna nicely ask if they wouldn't mind to move the rooster. They have like 20 something acres. Just move the rooster to another part of their property. So it's not cockadoodle doing us. We don't want a cockadoodle do it through. So, what did you do, Shay? I'm multitasking. Okay, me. so here's what I'm happened. Here's what happened. So we get home from Greece. I mean, obviously the rooster is annoying. So my truck happened to be. I'm like six months pregnant. Yeah, my truck happened to be parked kind of close to their fence line because our house was different the way that we pulled in the driveway, and for some reason my my truck was parked close to the fence line, so. I was actually up really early. It was like 5 a.m. I was going to go you work out. Go I work was out. going to work out. So and it, I had been up and was trying to go back to bed another yeah. end of So day. anyways, so I go to get in my truck, and then I see something moving on the fence line. So I shine my light. Well, it's in like a dog cage, and the rooster's right there on our fence line. Like on our side. No, not on our well, side. Not on our side. Close no. to our house. No, it was... But Not on our it was property. no. So, anyways, so it is closer to our house than their house. I'm like, so I just got it. Just ticked me off. Which so, I so I went. So I went to the gym. Went to the gym, and I just got even more upset. So I just pulled in their driveway, but I was real nice. Knocked on the door, and was like, just was like. You know, I, I want to. We want to be neighborly, but that rooster is keeping us up. At, it's going off at all hours of the night. It's going off. And so, is there any way that you could move it off the fence line and closer to your house if you want a rooster? And the woman says, "Well, I don't know." 
And I go, you don't know? What do you mean you don't know? Well, she's like, well, I, I don't know. That's where we feed it. I'm like, well, you can't move the cage and feed, you can't move the cage and feed it somewhere else? And she's like, well, I, I don't know. I'm like, well, who, who does know? Who do I need to talk to that does know something? Well, I'll, I'll talk to my husband about it. I'm like, okay, that'd be great. If you need me to talk to him, I will. So she did move it. So anyway, so it. so they did move it. So we're we're happy about that. They did move it. Yes, when we, we had a week of sleep. No cockadoodle doing. No cockadoodle doing. So so we had a week of peaceful we slept. Yeah. slept. It's well, like, nice. That this is so good. this was I'm great. Like, aren't you so glad the way we resolved that conflict? Yeah. Like it was wonderful. And then I don't know if something snapped with them or whatever. Well, they put the rooster back and it started going off. They like I set up dead in the bed at three o'clock in the morning and I said, oh my heavens, the rooster is back. So I walked it's over, back. I walked over there and sure enough, the rooster was back. So what did I do? Hmm. So I went and got on my skeet thrower. It has a seat and I put it right next to the fence line at eight o'clock in the morning. That's not what you did now. Yeah, I did. Oh, you went over when there was a note on the door. Oh, that's right. Oh, no, you're that right. That was the yeah. third time. No, 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 no. That, that was that was the second time because I came back and did it. You went over there first. Right. I went over there to see and there was why. There a note that said, if you have a problem if, with yeah. my dog, cat, or rooster, <laughs> call this number. So I did. Oh, no answer. Yeah. At first. Yeah. And that's when you started shooting the skeet. And yes. I'm like, what are you doing shooting a gun at 8 o'clock in the morning? Yes. So I got I on my little you should have told this part of the story. <laughs> ski thrower and shot for about 45 minutes. I was like, what in the world? Just shooting, shooting, shooting. Oh. But. And then I finally talked to the person on the other end of the line, and it was her husband. and they moved the rooster again, and we have not had a problem since. Until. Until dot dot dot. Until, Until. we got, just got back from camp, yeah. and I've been awoken by this rooster. There's another rooster. There's another rooster. Seven years later. Seven years later. We must have done something. She's uh, we must have inadvertently done something to upset this woman. <laughs> and the rooster is back. Now, Shay doesn't think it's on the fence line, but I'm telling you, it's loud. It's pretty close, but I don't think it's on the fence line. But I think you need to investigate. <laughs> there, she's had other roosters since, but they haven't been on the fence line. Praise Jesus. But yeah. this one, when Shay left, Shay left the house at 4.45 a.m. this morning. And that thing was going off. I could not go back to sleep for two hours listening to cock a doodle do every five minutes on the five minutes. I'm just praying the coyotes are out this summer is all I'm saying. I mean, we, <laughs> we've got tons of neighbor stories. This is funny. You know, this is like comical. <laughs> we come, we move out to the country to like be out. Yeah. Just around no one life. yeah and um, it's been challenging challenging yes. okay. so anyway. oh, <laughs> to be continued to be continued <laughs> okay c6 fam we're back so the saga this is our yard yeah we're the, in our yard the, the that, this is our property too the I saga think. the saga continues with the neighbor and their lovely rooster oh, and so um which this is is it gonna start been, waking us up again it's been several years ongoing but this kind of let everybody see i mean we're in the confines of our yard so see there's our hat there's our hat Oh, our yard's not a mess, honey. You always think. There's so there's our house. Is. It's fine. There's our house right here. So so then this is not our property line right here. There's there's about twenty two feet 
roughly, I guess, right here. And then there's a barbed wire fence right there. But on right? the other side, just of on the, the other side of the barbed wire fence, yes, is a rooster. Well, it's a and it's a dog cage. It's a dog cage. But anyway, so we're gonna show you. So I just kind of want to give you an idea. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sneak over. I'm not. Fence. I'm not getting near her and, property. And I've never been near her property. We're gonna get in the trees and we're gonna show you where the cage is. Okay. All right. You Shay is. I'm okay, not. I'm not getting over there. I don't. Okay. Here is the rooster cage. Right there. There it is. Right there. That's where the rooster is, and he goes off. It's in a dog kennel. Very strange, very, right close to our fence line. Hmm, which is odd. Odd, very odd. So, so the rooster, yeah, is, is just right there. Just right there in a dull cage. Closer to our house. I just heard it though. No, there's another one. Just two? No, I think somebody else is on oh. another property. But, anyways. <gasps> oh. oh! It wanted to be on the video. It wanted to be on the video. The rooster wanted to talk. Look. Okay, so, so y'all, here's the thing. So the rooster like, is, is close so to. Funny. Hold on. The rooster is closer to our house. Than it is on starting at three. Than it is <laughs> to their house. So and don't really understand can, why you want a rooster. That you put on our property. <laughs> Not on it, but close to so. us. Yeah. He likes to talk. All night long. Starting yeah. at three. And yeah. keep on going. It, it really stops about, I would say once it warms up, about ten. So... Anyways, this is this is our life. Rooster problems. Rooster problems. Well, if you have a problem with her dog, cat, or rooster. <laughs> so yeah. hey, so make Go sure C six fam, make sure you comment. Um, at, give us some get some tips. What would you do? What would you do if your neighbor has a rooster? It's closer to your house than theirs. There's nothing to do, baby. I don't we know. Just we just don't know what to do. No, I'll, I'll, there's things to do. No, there's not. <laughs> Shay's going to just mm. be relaxed about it. Yeah. We'll but, sleep on the other side of the house. Yeah, we but, can sleep in waves all day. Okay, that's not going to happen. But anyways, but our dilemma. So this I hope you, hope you enjoyed the, the video, C6 fam. This is the real, is the real deal. Look, yep. I even put on boots instead of my flips. Can you see them? I had to put on some boots because I didn't want to get bit by a snake while I was trying to see this dang oh, rooster out heavens. here. It could happen. Yep, it could. Anyways, all right. I hope everybody's having a great day, having a great oh, summer. Oh, Lord, I can't Peace. believe this thing's going off. <laughs> <laughs>